Okay, this is, this is an overview of the autofocus sensors, how they are wired. Um, the, the autofocus sensor on the left-hand side of the machine is the transmitter, and it has two power wires, and that's it. A hot and a ground, a 24-volt uh, uh, plus DC, and a ground, rather. Uh, and so does the right-hand sensor. It has the same power requirement. Uh, and they're tied together. I'll show you that in a minute. And then the uh, receiver uh, on the right-hand side also has another wire that goes to the Z-limit negative uh, input I.O. on the uh, Ruida controller. And that is what should toggle to ground uh, to indicate uh, that that input is active. So whenever this beam is broken, this goes low, goes to ground. So by sh taking off that connection on CN3 and removing it and jumping that to ground, you should be able to see on your LEDs and on your uh, control panel in the diagnostics that this toggles correctly to make sure that that's working right in the controller. Uh, if it is, put it back on and then we need to determine if the sensors are getting power. If the sensors are getting power and the controller can see this trigger, then the autofocus sensors are going to be failed. Uh, they get their power. Uh, let me move up a page actually. They get their power from here. Here's the same two wires. The blue wires, what it shows going to ground or DC zero volt. And you'll notice that they tie together at some point. And the same way with the other autofocus sensor, the, the 24 volts are going to be tied together on those as well. And they're going to go to the rail. So you have a 24 volt wire that splits and goes to each of the sensors. You have a ground wire it splits and goes to each of the sensors and then you have the trigger wire on the receiver uh, on that end that goes there so with that in mind we should be able to take the autofocus sensors loose at their connectors and measure across the two pins uh, on the transmitter and get 24 volt DC and across the proper two connections uh, on the three pin connector and also get 24 volt DC. And then we can plug those back into the circuit and go further. Hope that helps. Thanks.